somebody. Yeah. Because of that, now you a villain. Yeah. I wish, I wish Kyrie, and I wish, I wish the next time Kyrie hey. had like a uh, an interview. Yeah. The first thing you say, wait till they find out Jesus is black. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that thing, that thing gonna pop. What? That shit gonna pop. Steppers, huh? But you can't step with us. Niggas swear they certified steppers, but don't step with us. Oh, you be with them steppers, huh? But you can't step with us. Niggas swear they certified steppers. Hey everybody say, hey, we want some pussy. Hey, we want some pussy. I'm always in a cute. I'm always, I got you back. got you back. Welcome to another episode, yo, baby. Yo, What's poppin'? What's poppin'? Hey man, before we even jump off this episode, man, happy fucking birthday to us. Not us as in people, but us in, as in a show. Us as in a conglomerate. Us Hell as yeah. in as is a as a, a a podcast, man. We made two years, but we started on this journey um, two years ago. Yeah. So. If you're a bad chick, send me a nudie, you know. <laughs> hey. Yeah, bl- <laughs> bless us for our birthday, man. <laughs> drop a drop a pick, even better. Drop a flick. Yeah. Hey, hey, right before we dive in, just what you what you, what you thought two years ago when we started this thing? What we would? What is, you, you saw us here. You saw us, uh, bro. You saw us with twenty five thousand followers. <laughs> Did you see us with twenty five thousand followers on my mom. My mom always said I had a face for TV, so I knew I knew we was gonna blow. You know what I'm saying? I said my mom always said I had a face for TV, so I knew we pop. You you knew that twenty five k was coming, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> now that I look back, bro, it's just it's just it's just natural elevation, bro. We growing, mm-hmm. we growing, and we growing. Hey, and listen, this is just a quick quick before we jump into it. We appreciate each and every one of y'all for tapping in with us. Thank y'all so much for um, for believing in the content, for trusting in what you know how we got in y'all. Thank y'all for laughing with us, shit, going through those vulnerable vulnerable moments as well, man. And we we got a whole bunch of other shit that's finna come to y'all, some giveaways that we finna re- revamp up, some more merch, you know that's on deck. We talk about that a lot, but we finna get that back popping as well. So y'all stay tuned, man. Yes, sir. Yeah. Hey, but let's just, we jumping right in, bro. Kanye's apology. Free Kanye. <laughs> Kanye's do you, apology. Do you think, uh, do you think like it's fair that Kanye, like everybody's dropping Kanye? Like Adidas, uh, what else got dropped? Oh, his yeah, school Balenciaga, clothes down. Yeah, school Balenciaga, clothes. Yeah. Balenciaga stopped yeah. working. Uh, I said they stopped working with him. Vogue decided to end the partnership. Mm. Who else we got? Oh, and his sports agency. They, that's a, still a, love, ta- but a like talent people, agency. Talent agency. Also. Yeah, they, I think he still has that, but like there's been athletes who's been yeah. distancing yeah. themselves from. I mean, the the, athletes got to do it because, you know what I'm saying, that that affect them. You know what I'm saying? They're not as free as Kanye. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, you play for the team, you play for them people, probably got Jewish owners. Yeah. (laughs) At the end of the day, if I was in Kanye's shoes, that would probably be the thing I would respect the most is like, because 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 of what I'm saying is affecting somebody else's pockets, mm. I can't knock you if you if you need to dip because yeah. you seeing what they doing to me. Mm. I get it if you distancing yourself from me, big dog. Like, do you th- you, but do you think it's fair? That do nobody, I think it's, that, that, I was about that to get nobody, back to your question. That nobody like is taking up for him. I seen Slim Thug though. Slim Thug was taking up for him. Yeah. So, so do you, so, so now that we've got more information now you. You think that he's really he's not all as wrong as we thought. You, uh, I didn't think he was as wrong as before the before right? they before they started uh, dropping him. Yeah, he just I ain't just, he just ain't write it down. Huh? He just ain't yeah. write it down before he said it. Yeah. <laughs> My only knock is, and no, I, I, I hate that. I won't call it a knock. Mm-hmm. My only thing when I'm looking at it, and I'm still trying to understand, is like, for me, I've always been this type of person. If I say something and I'm standing on this side of the street. I ain't really in the position where I'm trying to, especially as strategic as he was saying it. Mm. I ain't in the position now where I want to start apologizing now that I didn't got your attention. Yeah, like I fucking said what I said. Mm. Like that was the only stance I expected him to be at. But I mean, it to me it shows. I Man, it shows the power of of the forces he fighting against. I ain't mentioning no names. Mm. I don't yeah. want no smoke with none of y'all. Yeah. But <laughs> the forces he fighting against is power is powerful as hell. The mm. people with the like, real bees. Like so I want I want I want I want and I and I and I'll um like and I'll share I'm, I'm gonna show you off camera like you gotta see like I started seeing some shit get said about like CNN, Fox News, uh the New York Daily Times, all these major mm. medias, right? Mm. They broke down their executive staff. CEOs and down, you know, VPs, all these different organizations, all these different people who work in the organizations, mm. bro. In the media wire. Yeah, media, media wire. All of their top executives are Jews mm. in some capacity. 
Yeah. Like the top. And so like when I when I looked at it from that perspective, bro, check I'm like, out. oh, okay, you you fucking yeah. with the money. This yeah. is major corporation. Mm. So yeah, I, I mean, think yeah. I think his his delivery be off. Like he'll yeah. say he he'll, he'll say that's how people some people think he's crazy because he'll say uh, the Jews are controlling all of this. Then he's like, I'm losing my family. They won't <laughs> let me see my kids. Like he be all over the place. Over the place. So yeah. people just automatically think something wrong with him. But you you understand you don't believe he's crazy, right? Yeah, I don't believe he's crazy. Okay. The the other thing that I'm looking at and we don't know it remains to be seen yeah. is like. That damn sway situation always pops back up when he tells Kanye, "Why you want to do it by you, yourself? Why you want to go and, and get the corporations? Like, yeah, start the shit you on your yourself? own." And he like, "You ain't got the answer, sway." Yeah. And like everything from that interview, like Kanye is trying to stand on now. So for mm-hmm. me, I'm hoping he was ruffling feathers to like kind of get out of contracts so that he could independently. Because I I truly believe. Like he's shown to us that he a designer. Like yeah. you can like his clothes or not, people come out in the millions to buy it. Yeah. That's just a fact and a reality. Do you think people will come up, will come out in the millions to buy them crawfish boots? Nah, see, that's nah, one man. thing I don't think he gonna sell. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think that's just for him. I think it's just for him. Boots. But the point I'm getting at it is was like Balenci. That shit may not never yeah, come out. Yeah, it's Balenci. So, but oh, but yeah. you never know, cause like he like it ain't just the U.S. We look at things a lot of times from a very U.S. Lens perspective, mm. right? And you gotta understand, Kanye has the ear of the like. But yeah, he, he had a good point of view, like like talking about his main issue was like they didn't like the fact the higher rich people, you know, what I'm saying that they yeah. mingle with. They didn't like the fact that they was leaking secrets. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like about uh, the land and everything. He said, "Hey man, Jay Z do it." You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All these songs, he's telling you. They tell a the secret. Like, don't tell me your secret, bro, because yeah. it's not gonna be a secret. Yeah, because yeah. I'm gonna tell these people how I, to I'm, do I'm it. I'm giving it back to my he, people. He was jealous, like saying, "Like, okay, yeah. these cultures do it so well. The Jews been doing it. Like, when you see all the old music singers, um, documentary and movies, who they mm-hmm. signed to, who the person that discovered. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All these old Patty LaBelle and all them. It was a little yeah. white Jewish kid. Yeah, that had the money." for the first studio you yeah. know what I'm saying his parents ain't believing him so he put all the money all into the their money art until they blew up and then they Motown records and, and all these and people and that's a whole you know different saying? conversation if you think about it like they, I, it's proofed it's been run it's, it's they, they, they've been controlling proof. the shit but my thing is like if, if he can independently bring like the major influence people together I really think that he could, he got the opportunity to make a stronger power play in fashion than even Virgil did and a lot of those other Ralph Lauren and all these people if because he now he has everybody's attention. Yeah. Do like, you do you think do you think people going to actually rock with him though? Like somebody going to actually team up with him like to start his own clothing line or something. I, I do because we 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 drive the culture and that's where I wanted to segue now. Like so we talking about how this uh anti uh somatic situation has got the entire Jew community in an uproar, right? Mm. Where we where I think that we sh- we lack as a, as a people is no matter if if it's if we fighting against something or we banding together to build, we haven't mastered how to how to pick a side and push the agenda, right? Mm-hmm. So my point is, when Kanye jumped out the window, it it splits us. Every time something happens in our community, it splits us mm-hmm. and it forces us to pick a side. So the struggle that I, to your question, I think that's going Kanye going to have an issue with is getting us to band together. The Jews already know this is our agenda. We pushing this. Mm-hmm. No no arguments, nothing about it. White people feel the same way. Asians, the way they came to this country. Even if you think of the Middle East, the the, the Pakistanis and the Indian, I mean the uh, Middle East uh, Indian Lawrence, culture people, yeah. they come to the co- come to the country, do the exact same thing, right? They get bread, give it back to their people. Mm. Us, we do not move militant like that. Yeah, like we so. That's where I think Kanye has to really focus his message his, on his yeah. message and where he's trying to market and stuff. Because if you can't bring us together then it's never he's never going to get off the ground that's why people was like having an issue with like not seeing so much uproar about the comments about black people as it was the Jews and my response to everybody was is because we didn't give a shit until the Jews started giving a shit yeah yeah just be real George Floyd mm-hmm. shit is bullshit you like think you said. think so He's saying about he died. Oh, you saying that's what Kanye? I thought you were saying the George. No, no, no. But Kanye's Kanye yeah. statements, like, yeah, that that shit was left. Like, I was like, no, 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 no. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But when he was explaining, yeah, he's like, yeah, but I'm just jealous, bro. Yeah. Like Nori, Nori got it out of him. Like, yeah, it's like, why are you coming at these people like this? Like, bro, I'm just jealous that we can't do it like them. Yeah. Because I'm out here, I want us to do it like that. 
I what, 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 what was his whole reason about the George Floyd sh- shit though? Like, why would you just come out and say that? Right. So, see, no. and, and that, but see, mm-hmm. but uh, see, and your question was was what that was getting ready to propose my question back to you. Because mm-hmm. did you hear when he said he made in his apology in one of his in one of his um, podcast appearances he made a statement saying, "I now know what it feels like to be George Floyd and have a knee on my neck, basically mm-hmm. going through this shit." And I, to me. Do you? But, I felt like that was more disrespect to what happened because that is not the fucking same. Yeah. But do you think that was genuine though? Or uh, he was just he just saying that because he said before right. that it wasn't true. I don't, I, don't, I don't think like you ain't nigga you ain't got no knee on your neck, and yeah. I think that's what we start. And I, and I, I I'm a I, I ain't got no problem with Kanye. Mm. I, it's hard for me to call myself a supporter, but it's also it, I, I'm also not turning my back on somebody that has an idea and, and is trying to push a black agenda, right? I, mm. I just don't understand the agenda yet. So I'm not that person. However, like every, this is the second time he's touched that George Floyd situation and I just utterly disagree with it. Mm. Like that that whole, like you, now you feel like, because you losing billions, mm. you feel like a knee on your neck and because they took your Instagram to social, nigga, your kid's still healthy, yeah. you still in good, you know, like don't do not do that. Yeah, you can't compare the you two. You can't compare the two. Mm. So when I saw him say that, I was like, bro, somebody needs, somebody needs to give him real, professional media training on how to talk to because it's one thing you know how we rocking mm-hmm. when me and you kicking a nigga we shooting our shit mm-hmm. cameras off ain't nobody listening we gonna say the wildest shit ever yeah i think kanye takes that philosophy to the f- mainstream media and that conversation that barbershop talk if you will mm-hmm. is not for the world yeah. mm-hmm. it has to be it, especially when you talking to people who don't understand the culture like us when you talking to jews when you talking to white people when you talking to asians who don't look into this window and can't tap in and see it from our lens they immediately take an offense to it and how so, you, and how you talking and how yeah. you talking and, you talking and, and like the way your and the way your aggression yeah. is and everything so <laughs> yeah. what happens is before you can even get the message across people shut that shit off mm-hmm. so it's counterproductive is my point. Yeah. So I, it's hard for me to vouch for for him on that George Floyd shit. The rest of that stuff, I'm like, it remains to be seen because that's all business talk that's above a lot of our pay grades. Like, he's fighting corporations as an individual. People that really run shit. Yeah. And that's that's hard to do when you ain't got the engine behind you like you would wish you, you Are you Are you going to burn up all your Yeezys? Never. Fuck what, it, about, no. what about, Nick got Yeezys on right now. I just want everybody to say that. Yeezys on too. Oh, my bad. Hey, John, zoom in on that boy, Yeezys. Easy, John. Make sure you get them phone runners. Yeah, 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 talk. And no, absolutely, I'm absolutely. I paid good money for that shit. Mm. Put Kanye, that shit on. Kanye got his money. Hey. Put that shit on. Hey, put that Kanye shit on. Money, right? yeah. So I'm gonna get my goddamn money's worth. Yeah. I'm AB in that whole situation. Put yeah. that goddamn shit on, nigga. I got so many goddamn. I got I got a pair of phone runners. I got his slides. I got mm. so many boots. Five hundred, three fifty. He got he got the crawfish boots. <laughs> <laughs> right, yo. I got them goddamn. I got it out, and I'm, 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 not, I'm not gonna stop wearing it because I know how to swag that shit out. So y'all can kiss my ass in terms of throwing my gear away. No, I pay good money for this shit, yeah. and it's still fly to me. Mm. It's just I, I can still rock homie shit and and, and disagree mm. with his move. I don't think he, but my point is, I don't think he. In nothing Kanye did, I felt like he was coming from a hate perspective. I'll say that. Mm. I, but I do feel like. He's constantly coming from a hurt perspective. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That, hurt, that's that's my hurt take people, away. hurt people, guys. So we need to all get together <laughs> and spread the love. But have y'all noticed though the one the one thing I really <laughs> hurt people, hurt people, and I'm dying on the inside. That's what Kevin, <laughs> that's what Kevin Gates said. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there you go. Hey, let's start let's start this goddamn episode off on some mental health stuff. You right? Listen, mm-hmm. we gonna fix this narrative, bro. Yeah. yeah, we sorry for hurting each other. Let's just apologize to each other. You know? that, and that's the main. Mm-hmm. That's that's the main topic, man. We be hurting each other, right? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, we do it to each other faster than we do it to somebody, somebody else. else. But like, the, the, like, but the, have y'all noticed, right? How whenever whenever you're going against they, the media, right? Whatever, the, whatever. Mm-hmm. It's like they like the way they pull Kyrie into that si- this situation. Mm-hmm. I thought was a disrespect to Kyrie and his whole. Like what he has going on, right? It's almost like let let's include another villain that we don't like, yeah. who already because Kyrie speaks his own mind. He's a free, I mean, yeah, he's a free thinker. Mm. He does all that, right? And they trying, they basically was trying to tie in the fact that he was 
um, you know, he was really searching on his history into supporting what the fuck Kanye's movement is, which was it was not synonymous. Are y'all familiar with the, the Kyrie situation? Uh, a little bit. For the camera, I'm, I'm just going to explain. So if y'all haven't already, check out, um, and, and this was, Kyrie had a post-conference interview um, about the game that they had against Toronto, Brooklyn play, and they actually beat Toronto, right? Mm. And so they, had, they started asking him questions, and he was basically saying, hey, listen, I Googled my name and found out what the meaning of my name was. And when I, and when I found out the meaning, I searched it, you know, and on Amazon Prime, a link popped up that said Hebrews to Negroes, right? Mm. And basically, what that what that is, we ain't gonna be long winded about it because you guys can search yourself. But basically, what it's saying is like it's basically pointing out the fact that us as the black people were just like they say black uh, Jesus was, gen- you know. He's a black person or mm-hmm. he had yeah. brown skin or whatever. It's the same thing. It's Change basically details, saying that the original Jews are originated from Africa, which in essence make them black. The Jew, original Jews are black people, right? And mm-hmm. and the the pushback from the other side was basically saying that there's a lot of anti-Semitic stuff that's in this movie and Kyrie's promoting that because he posted a link on his Instagram. Yeah. So my question to you is, if you got millions of followers, right? Mm-hmm. And you found some stuff based on your research, based on your name, whatever, and you just drop a link and you just like give it to your people. Mm. Do you see that as a promotion? I'm standing behind the product. No, I don't. They just don't carry ass for everything else he done did. Like the he'd say the the uh, earth was flat. What else he said? He he earth, to, earth was flat. He taught you know he's an open Muslim. Yeah, he, he didn't want to take the uh, the vaccine. vaccination was daily was was tied into his religion. Like mm-hmm. I'm not putting something you know. So right, yeah. you're going against the entire gen- the media was pushing. The media has been telling us the earth is round, so that's a different conversation. But let's start the pandemic. Mm. The entire media was pushing vaccination, 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 mm. and we can get into the money t- topic about that, you know, in a diff- at a later date because we all know that that generate, you know, that 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 builds big for me. That's mm. all that vaccination to me was meant for. Yeah. Get you to the goddamn hospital because you know big for me. You know insurance and you know these corporations, these medical and doctors and hospitals, they all in the bed together. Mm-hmm. Kyrie was like, "Fuck it, I'm not taking." No vaccination. I'm gonna keep myself cool. NBA, you took a stand saying I can't hoop because I ain't taking the vaccination. I'm just asking you to respect the fact that I don't know what this shit is and I'm not putting it in my body. Yeah. Because of that, now you a villain. Yeah. I wish, I wish Kyrie, and then I wish, I wish the next time Kyrie hey. had like a uh, an interview. Yeah. The first thing you say, wait till they find out Jesus is black. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that thing, that thing gonna pop. What? That shit gonna pop. So like, and then like the crazy thing is like, it's it's so odd. And I don't know if you get this feeling, but like, man, being in this media space, if you will, because that's it's essentially what we are, right? Mm. Like being in this media space for me is like, you starting to see that like, you are forced to pick a side. Yeah. Like there's especially, people- Especially if you were black. What? You got, like, you got to pick a side. And like for me, even though like we at the ground roots with this thing, my whole thing is like, I'm staying authentic to the beliefs. Mm. Y'all shun me all you want, be mad all you want. I think that's what Kyrie's stance is, right? Mm-hmm. Kyrie is like, listen, this is my beliefs. I come from a melting pot. I grew up around Asians, Hebrews, all religions, all colors, all walks of life, mm-hmm. right? And I don't discriminate. I'm not hating on nobody. However, you're not going to tell me how to think. Yeah. So I, I I do think that the Kyrie's criticism was like you like you pulling that brother in just because you want to you want to have somebody else to to hang on side of Kanye, on side of Kanye to say that this is an actual agenda when it's really just a corporation versus Kanye issue for yeah. me and uh, mm-hmm. the media don't like those type of black people that like they don't care about the money see I I, I honestly mm-hmm. believe Kyrie will walk away from the NBA mm-hmm. do you just, think that just, you think yeah. you think he would say fuck the money yeah he'd rather his beliefs than than the money. I, 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 I think I agree with you there. He's already losing. I believe he's already losing just from not playing, being being able to play like, you know, visiting teams. Like, mm-hmm. then he only play like the home games. Right? Let me ask y'all something. So, New York State, New York has dropped um, something. This is where I wanted to take the Kyrie. So, they they put out a communication that's saying that it's been proven that the vaccination has, has does not you know, prevent you from catching COVID. It doesn't stop you from dying. And people who didn't get vaccinated should not have lose their, lost their jobs. And in addition to that, they're saying that you're required to rehire those people that you fired 
or whatever, or took wages from or whatever, and paid them back pay. Yeah. Now my thing is with Kyrie and medical. Do you think Ooh. the Nets gonna give him his money back from last season? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> That's my get, point. Yeah. I, and I'm cool with the work in America. I do think that they deserve it. However, I think, Kyrie, I think Kyrie is more of a like, bro. We here now, if, man. Whatever. Like I don't know. He may fight for it, but if, I can see him like, I ain't tripping. I'm hooping. If y'all give me the back pay, cool, but whatever. Yeah. But like, I like it's dope as fuck that to see a state come out and actually recant shit that they was pushing because New York was one of the major states that was pushing that vaccination. Yeah. Right. And they and, lost a lot of money too from not letting nurses and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Work. Because of that, it's like yeah. one thing. One of the first states to be like, "Yeah, bro, fire them." Like, bro, they had thirty days to do it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And they're fire so liberal. Them. Yeah, they're so liberal. Like that, that back pay is gonna help a ton of people out, especially now that we heading towards a recession. Like, bro, I see a recession coming in about six months. Yeah, we really, no we really, we really in it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, no, it's yeah, really, yeah. But we haven't, we haven't hit the the effects of it yet. Yeah, and you you'll start feeling it in 2023. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's like the fact that it's like, and you know what I hate is like. Kyrie took a stance and he didn't want to put that vaccination in, right? Mm. But now that they've put that statement out, it, like it's like I don't owe the people I shit on nothing. Yeah. But if that table was turned, right, and Kyrie was in that light where he was wrong, everybody in their mama would be pushing for an apology. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. Everybody in their mama would be like, yo, I need you to apologize. We can't move forward as a business. You can't rock with us. We can't do nothing until you apologize. And I think that that's so fucked up that people, CNN, you don't see nobody coming out on CNN saying, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Fox News, all these people who was pushing this vaccination, all they do is now give you more facts. Well, yeah, you know, we kind of have, you know, we got some more excuses. information. Yeah, mm -hmm. they just pointing the finger at other groups. Yeah. You know, we got this from former and the medical was saying this, but now it has been proven that, you know, vaccinations don't kill cure nothing, don't solve nothing. It just, you know, it may help or it may not, depending on how your body take. Nobody sit there and says, hey, we are sorry for pushing this agenda. We was misinformed. Hey, no, I ain't believe it. That. Shout out to the plug with the cards. You know what I'm saying? I ain't believe it. And you know what I'm saying? Not, not, so Jeremy, I, 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 and, and we'll, we'll, go, we'll go to poor decisions after this. We'll, we'll, but I did want to ask you because you were the one they got vaccinated, right? Mm. And and we know why, right? We we yeah. talked about on the show whenever like one of our partners that you used to work with. I remember when uh, rest in peace, Lawrence, man. Mm. Shout out to the homie from the crib. But like when he passed, I knew that that was the tipping burg for you. You was like, mm. shit, we the same age. Let me go. Yeah. Like, but now getting the information you you know now, like, does that change your perspective on the vaccination? Or you like, do you feel a way that you got the shit? Or, or like, or, you, you or, felt or, like it, it made it gave you peace of mind, even though yeah, or perspective I, I, of the I, government, huh? Or perspective of the government changed, like believing things. Nah, I never believed shit about the government. Yeah. But, uh, nah, I would have. Uh, I would have got that motherfucker anyway. anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Just to have a peace of mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I could. I could also imagine like your anxiety and all that shit is like it. It brings other fucking concerns. It's like, dang, mm -hmm. like I got sick. Now nah, I'm fucking got the fever. I don't know if it's COVID. Yeah. Inserts. Yeah. The anxiety because yeah. I don't know what. It, so I can understand that, mm -hmm. but. I'm 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 where Nick at. It's like if if I would have got it, me yeah. personally, because like I, I don't have those different thoughts, mm. and I would have only did it like my my family, like my mom, I could my mom was like, don't come around me until <laughs> yeah. for real, yeah, like yeah. you know what I'm saying. My, my like, mom, my dad, you know I'd have felt mean? so yeah. played, Jeremy. If I'd have got, got that vaccination, I'd have felt so fucking played. Yeah. I'd have felt yeah. bad. It'd have been fuck y'all. I'm not listening to another fucking thing. You tell me unless <laughs> yeah. you got facts. That's how I'd have felt. Bro. See, for me, like I work in the medical field, I had. Nurses, you know what I'm saying, pass away from COVID. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. And I lost seven in my family in 2020, bro. Seven people. Yeah. On my daddy's side, bro. It was hell. That's what I'm saying. I've never and seen like, being to so many funerals, bro. Yeah. yeah. And, and then even if you could go to the funerals, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like a lot of places, like yeah, shit, you got list seven people. Mm. Like man, we got a whole family here. Nah, seven people bro. see it, take some <laughs> pictures. Like yeah, bro. Whatever happened to the the male? Uh, the male contraceptive, yeah. You see what I'm saying? They don't even talk they about just, that shit Bro, no they more. throw shit out at us mm. to get us distracted. Because mm. I'm waiting on that birth control, baby. <laughs> that nah. nigga ready to skeet and everything. I'm, I'm oh, waiting Lord. on that birth control, baby. <laughs> fill me up. Shit, because I'm, I'm trying to pause, fill him up. Pause, pause, I pause, need to fill him up with no restraints. Up, baby. <laughs> like, I, listen, love, you ain't got to take another pill. That nigga going to be on male birth control. <laughs> 
<laughs> see Alice. <laughs> and a perky. Ma- marijuana. And, and a perky. <laughs> and a Bluetooth. And a Bluetooth <laughs> with a perky set. Nigga ain't gonna do nothing but lay down. <laughs> nigga gonna be so confused, nigga. Just be, just be trembling. Nigga gonna be like, nigga, we up or not, nigga? You know, like, what we doing? <laughs> hey, but listen. Hey, in addition to... um. Saying happy birthday to the podcast. I want to say happy birthday to my goddamn self because hey, I hey, turned hey. Uh, another age wiser on November 1st, which is Tuesday by the time y'all see it drop. So happy Sir birthday Steve. to me. How old you turn? 37. Damn. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Whoa, you bitch. <laughs> you lied me up for that. You, you whole ass nigga, you, you lied me up. <laughs> hey, but listen, I, the reason why I That's brought I my age is, is because <laughs> I want to talk about like the, the recent events that I was having over the course of this weekend celebrated mm. made talk me realize like I, don't, like, I don't really be making the best decisions sometimes. Yeah. Because I had a whole lot of poor decisions this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> a whole, whole lot of poor decisions. You gotta, you gotta live moss, my friend. <laughs> Look, you gotta live moss, but there, there's a few text messages shit that went to the few people it shouldn't have went to. Mm. <laughs> there's a few, you up text that, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That like, was like, we gonna, hey, we gonna regret this goddamn shit tomorrow. Like, <laughs> how many, how many cold calls? You just cold calling. Like, let me see. I haven't, I, I haven't gotten to that level of drunk yet <laughs> to where I can just cold call bitches. Like, yeah. but y'all know I remember, I remember this one time this nigga uh, before. Well, no, you still living out here. I think when we were staying on Bride Forest, me, you, and Lavar at the townhouse. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and uh, the nigga was fucked up, and we was on our way home. And this nigga, this nigga, this this a nigga that he don't delete numbers out his phone. Yeah, this he got about a thousand contacts. <laughs> This nigga with every female. What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? <laughs> Don't matter. He, he just talked to him. Talk to him he say, what I'm going with spot? <laughs> Lord. You got to shoot your shot, baby. Man. You feel me? You that sage, that man toxic. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Do, 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 do. Every night we burn the sage because we toxic, my nigga. You think, I, you think this spiritual journey came without flaw, big homie? Hey. No. I Not got to this spiritual journey because this dick was too freely in them streets. <laughs> yeah, community wee wee. You, you feel me? I don't, listen, the niggas who talk about not having a community wee wee at one point. <laughs> this dick ain't free. They no more. You gotta, you gotta fucking pay for this. Yeah, time. some. I need God a meal. Some baby girl. <laughs> no, nah, but there was a point in time. So like, but like, get just like. My question before I go into like any of my spiel is like, man, y'all ever had them moments where you like, you know it was a poor decision, but like the shit just feel right. You like, man, fuck it. I mm-hmm. deal with the consequences later. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See, like we talked about earlier, how this recession coming, right? Yeah. Like if if we fall into a situation where like shit get hard, mm-hmm. I'm I might look into OnlyFans. Yeah. <laughs> I might just look into OnlyFans. Yeah. Right? I got a different feature. I was getting my ass and my meat grabbed all last night in the section. Oh, <laughs> and because you know you're standing on couches, right? Yeah. I even I even had a girl. You was, who, you was feeling good because we had a conversation the night before. The nigga said, "Yeah, he don't like no touching." And I'm like, I yeah, know. really like, but it was a, it was so because I you know so I'm I'm at Palmer nightclub. I I lay out the situation to y'all. I'm standing on these folks' couches though. It's my birthday. I'm two bottles of Don Julio, and I'm gonna show you the footage off camera. Mm. I'm two bottles of Don Julio in hand, nigga. And so like, there's women standing around the section, like you know, hey. I'm a, I'm one of them thick niggas that y'all talk about. I'm, I'm a big body bitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. one of them niggas, you know? So oh, like, Lord. got my ass get grabbed. I turn around, I look, they grab me. And the, I'm okay with it. But in my head, I'm like, yo, bro, these roles are reversed. This is low key rape. Yeah. <laughs> but because of that, my nigga, I'm like, man, listen, let's go. With, I'm, I'm going with my move, mm. like on, on all that shit. So if we ever get into a hard times, Absolutely, bro. Let me let me see if I can make a little change on OnlyFans. Fuck it. Mm. And I know that like niggas, niggas, we really going we really only pop if we if we got a chick involved. Especially if we we think about the content everybody thinking when they hear OnlyFans, right? Mm. So I'm absolutely need to find me somebody who will be with the shits. Yeah. But yeah, that's my poor decision. What's but your if, poor decision? No, hold on. Go. What were you about to say? But if what? No, I was just gonna say, man. I wish I had every phone I ever had since I was like 18 years old. 
Because I, I know you I, have. I, 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 I was guarantee you, like I'm probably one of the first niggas to get females to send like naked pictures, naked pictures and all that. You been on that I, vibe? I've been. Talk I've been your fucking shit. That shit. Talk your shit. And, you, I, hey, and that's something you can quote because yeah. the old niggas back in the day, can, they had no cell phones. Yeah, 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 yeah. So talk your shit, man. Because niggas used to ask, man, how you get that girl to send it, bro? Just ask them. <laughs> Man. But you know, you know, I tell I tell women this all the time. The more handsome a nigga look, the, the more the more inclined you are to oblige. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like if a nigga look good, he present himself well. Mm -hmm. All you gotta do is ask the question. When I was younger, I got drunk, and I had a, I had a girlfriend at the time. Uh oh, I know who and... that girlfriend was. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> That's why he laughing. And I think I think I sent a message to her, her home girl. <laughs> I think I did. I think that was, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's probably the most fucked up shit I ever did. When and I I'm, did so I, homegirl kept it solid or she snitched? Oh no, she snitched. I fuck with you, homegirl. I fuck with you, homegirl. I don't, I don't think she, she sent with her. I think I might have just sent a film request though. I don't think I was stupid enough to send oh, a message. Oh, to send a message. Yeah, yeah. I but you, I but you, you was on demon time. Yeah, oh yeah, that I was nigga on was demon time. Uh, Nick, what's your, uh, what's your poor decision? Man, I probably done the same thing. I done pulled, you know, I met a group of homegirls or whatever, got close to one, got her number, whoop -dee -whoop, got the other one's number. You know, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm meet everybody. I done met everybody tonight. Let me get everybody contact. I'm like, if I'm feeling good, that's the type of guy. This dick for one of y'all. Whoever hit that guy down, that's the first. Yeah. Which one of y'all want me? Which one of y'all want me? I ain't got community dick. I, I got, I got, I got you, Jeopardy dick. You know what I'm saying? You that success story? You ever told you that? I'll run into you, bro. Just yeah. before you was on the show, I told you. So, yeah. like, so I, I, I got everybody their numbers and shit. You know what I'm saying? One was kind of really flat with me. She probably sitting on my lap, whatever, with the whoop during this part of the club, wherever we was at. Yeah. Then when they dip, I really wanted the friend, though. The friend had a little bit better package that I wanted. I was feeling that I night. I don't think that's a bad so thing. So I, I hit it one. Yeah. No, not really. I hit one, but then I hit it later. I was like, hey, I ain't going to lie. I really wanted your friend. I already mm. shot at the friend. Well, you told the truth. Yeah. And I shot at the friend. And then chick sent me a screenshot of my text message that I sent to the friend. And she was mad. I was like, bro, I told That's, you already. Yeah, like, see, that was my point, they bro. I was about to say. <laughs> see, see, see not, not, not too many niggas gonna do that. That's what I was finna go into. So you I feel like we adults, bro. You, I'm you, single. Uh, you an exceptional nigga. Like they say on Django. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, exceptional nigga. Exceptional nigga. <laughs> Jack, that's how that's how I feel. Like, bitch, you yeah. see this? Like, nah, if you don't want it, she gonna want it. Yeah, yeah. Put that man on that horse. I'm this here on that horse. This here is an exceptional nigga. Yeah. He not like the other niggas yeah. on the plantation. Yeah, yeah. He have privileges, but y'all do not have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I wanted to take the conversation because you made it. You made a point about how like. You shot. You was you was friend, befriending a friend, and she snitched. Mm -hmm. And he was talking about how like he trying to holler at the whole group. Like I think <laughs> that like niggas mm -hmm. and y'all. And this is just my opinion. I could be wrong. Y'all could show me how y'all. want. I really think that I think niggas telling quicker than women telling. Oh, what they did? Like like so like if if I know that you've been been hollering that shorty mm -hmm. right, and she coming and she just DM me. I'm not even telling her I'm telling. I'm Jeremy. Hey, this bitch in my inbox. Hey, yeah. fucking leave her. Like yeah. I, I'm like it's. I think it's a coin flip with women because yeah, it's like yeah. it depends on the nigga. Mm. Oh yeah, it definitely. depends because I've been in a situation <laughs> to where I did some shit and got told on, but I'm almost as almost as successful as doing some shit. And shorty, like, yeah, this a two man thing, like. I bet I'm gonna I'm keep this between us. And granted, mm -hmm. it's because she wanted to fuck, fuck with the vibe. Yeah. But like, I don't, I do think there's some fuck niggas out there. I'm thinking of a quality nigga. Mm -hmm. I'm telling my partner, oh, yeah. a hundred times out of a hundred times, bitch, you can't come fuck with me like that. Yeah. I'm hey, snitching. Hey, the females, yeah, you're right. Men do, it's way easier to read in the situation. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I had a situation, I'm talking to two girls, you know, just met them, whatever. They, they sparked, kind of sparked the conversation with me. So I'm like, okay, somebody here is interested, right? Chopping it up with them with the whoop. I got to go tend to my other business. I got here in the situation with me. I got another situation. I'm just being friendly. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I'm the neighborhood friendly guy. Friendly bopping ass nigga. Friendly, Boy, I hate, friendly. women hate when you friendly. Go ahead, boy. Hey, <laughs> hey, I serve that game with a smile. You feel yeah, me? That's it. That's it. So like, I said, hey, I'm finna go move on. Shit, let me get y'all info, whatever, whatever. And like, only one was really vocal. You know what I'm saying? So boom, she put the info down. 
And the next day I was like, man, I really wanted a friend. I tried to go find a friend, mm-hmm. can't find a friend. So I was like, man, that's a dead night. You know what I'm saying? I ain't checked the Instagram. I get up next day, I checked the Instagram. I was like, man, let me see if I find her friend and her shit. Like I'm really, I'm gonna find her. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Boom, she put the friend, she put the friend's IG in there for me. Mm-hmm. Cause she seen me watching the friend. Yeah. She said, yeah, my friend, she said, yeah, I was just fucked up. When I DM'd her, she said, yeah, I was fucked up that night. Da, 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 da. I said, like, yeah, like, you got a real ass chick with you. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? She peeked the scene, I asked her for her shit. She knew the uh. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. She gave me this sis like Steve Nash and that motherfucker. I was like, "Hey, that's a rare female." Cause that's Zomi, it. that's it. They'll, they'll that's keep it for themselves. Oh, yeah, you know, they know they ain't want it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Burn the Jeff, bridge. You know what I think? You got a PhD in what? Instagram. Probably so. Like you, yeah. like I got, I got a PhD in wordplay and like my in in, in person. Mm. Oh, hey, somebody, somebody said this. Somebody was like, like she was like. It was like the dude that's called, they didn't know us at the time. We was early. It was like the dude that's called smooth. I get it. You know, he looked the part. Mm. She was like, but you a smooth talking nigga. Yeah. And that's my PhD. Yeah. <laughs> you that's slick, silver tongue fucking, nigga. That's, that's my fucking PhD, yeah. boy. Bro, what I, what I wanted to say, bro. Hey, tell her anything to get us naked out that laundry hole. <laughs> hey, 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 if you fuck with us and you know Vicious from Lake Charles in Louisiana, you know that goddamn quote. Rest in peace, my nigga Vicious. Bro. 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 Tell her anything. <laughs> Thing to get a neck and out that laundry. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I wanted to say, uh, we as black men that can, like, that's able to get females kind of easily. Mm-hmm. We don't know how good we have it because I saw, uh, mm. I saw a percentage that did, did y'all know <laughs> that only <laughs> listen here, 20, please. <laughs> yeah, only twenty percent of men are actually out there fucking and actually getting women. Shut the fuck up. And eighty percent of men are like virgins are never going to have sex in their lives and shit like that. 80% of men are not going to fuck at all? Yeah, are not, cow, are, are not fucking like that. Are not, not fucking like, like getting are, it. Are, don't have like the variety we have or they're not able the to. options. Yeah, they don't have the options. They're, like they're not able to acquire said options. Wait, run that, hold wait, 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 wait. Run that percentage back. <laughs> 20%. 20% man. of niggas is... Oh, yeah. I, I know I'm in that 20%. Oh, yeah. Definitely. I love it. Yeah. That's what he's saying. It's like, we, we wear breeds. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. That's like, you Exceptional seen... niggas on the nay. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy coming through with the fucking data. Yeah. You, you better you... not say my nigga don't be podcasting. <laughs> God damn it. Like, you ever, you ever see, like, let's say you're, you're walking through the mall and you see, a, let's say you see a black dude, fat black dude. Let's say he got a button down shirt on open with a anime shirt on. Yeah, got some little nappy fro. With some glasses. Say he ain't get no ass. Hey, huh? Like, see, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, working at hot topic. I'm a nigga that always talk about people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you look like you working at hot talk, topic. I, like, I'm, a, I'm, a, I guess I'm a hateful nigga because I always talk about the people. Yeah, like I'll be walking like, damn. I know that nigga don't get no pussy. Like, I'm that type of nigga. Yeah. That's the thoughts you be having with yourself? Yeah. yeah. Like, I know like, no I'm a hating ass nigga. It's only in my head. But, hey, but females know they'll fuck with niggas. Like, I wear anime shirts here and there, so I'm yeah, like, they'll yeah. fuck with you if you look like you take care of yourself. Yeah, I'm, I'm you not talking about saying? that. I'm talking about, like, I'm looking... talking about a nigga that wear the same anime shirt every yeah, day. Yeah, like, yeah, you can yeah. just tell that's probably his favorite shirt. Jean, jeans, jeans mother- falling off, not yeah. even presentable, yeah. yeah. That's that's a crazy percentage of like, like uh, that's a new fucking twist on that eighty twenty rule. We oh we definitely finna remix that eighty mm. twenty mm-hmm. like twenty nigga twenty percent of niggas out here really doing their thing like that. I did that's a statistic I did not know. My yeah. nigga, I ain't gonna lie. You need to find out the percentage out of that twenty that's capping. Yeah, <laughs> might be ten. Sell, it might be ten. Might be ten. <laughs> Selling lies. <Yeah. laughs> the pool might be smarter than you think. Yeah. But this pimp right here is a real deal, man. <laughs> 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 pushing pee, <laughs> pushing pee by the pool, baby. Come swim in the sauce. You got a nigga pushing pimping. <laughs> you got a nigga pushing pressure. <laughs> and I'm pushing player, baby. Hey. I'm pushing player. <laughs> oh, well, y'all, hey, y'all can get these comments do, do, like this from do. last time. Mm. Yeah, in these comments and all y'all feelings, we don't care. We don't care. <laughs> at all, at all, at all. <laughs> let's wrap it up, man. I know we already, we already uh, passed 40 minutes in this thing, man. Mm. Let's, let's send this thing around for Bro Talk. Anybody got anything for Bro Talk, man? Man. Nick. Opportunities. Make the, mess of, make the best out of every opportunity, every time. And if you fuck up last time, go two times harder on the next one. That nigga got way better his bro talk this week. I yeah, love him short to speak. Mm. What you got, big dog? I say, man, fella, stop paying all these females' bills, man. You know, you just pay their water bill, something like that. <laughs>
<laughs> you better pick the cheapest one if that's the one you're taking. I mean, what's your water bill hitting for? Yeah. If it's 33, 33, 39? I got, you every, you, month, you, right I, I got <laughs> you every month. I got you every month because the whole part of the flat rate. <laughs> I got you with the 39 fucking C, right? Hey, I ain't going to hold y'all, man. I really ain't got no bro talk for you today. Today is my, I mean, it's not today, but when y'all see this, it's my motherfucking birthday weekend. It's a whole celebration. My yes, nigga sir. birthday in two weeks. So y'all finna get this yes, energy sir. for the whole fucking mm -hmm. month. It's Scorpio C. Matter of fact, that is my bro talk. Find yourself a fucking Scorpio. And John, I need you to zoom in on me real um, quick. And I want to tell y'all, find yourself a Scorpio, specifically a November Scorpio. But John, I also want you to send that camera to Jeremy because I know he got some Scorpio energy for me. <laughs> John, I mean, cut that part out, John. <laughs> Everybody, I just want y'all to know the only Scorpios that matter are the November Scorpios. November fucking Scorpios. Them October Scorpios y'all fucking with, that's who y'all talking about when y'all complaining <laughs> about us. This big November energy over here, y'all gonna November. respect it, man. Big November. We Scorpios. Wayne the Scorpio. Wayne the Scorpio. Hey. Future Scorpio. Boosie hey. Scorpio. Boosie Scorpio. Sierra Scorpio. We even got women for y'all. Y'all fuck with CC so much, right? <laughs> she October Scorpio, but she a woman, so we letting it ride, but she's still a Scorpio. Hey. You know what I'm saying? We got a, Cap we got a Capricorn ass nigga behind the cameras. He hey. got real quiet because he hey. don't like this energy. That's but, cool. Know. I fuck with y'all, y'all. Celebrate your legs. 20 hey, legs. Hey, 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 this is another <laughs> step episode. We appreciate y'all rocking with us. The nigga behind the fucking camera is cameraman That Nick. exceptional nigga on that name. Talk to him. <laughs> yeah, you my feel homie me? To my left, you already know. This is Smooth. Foles up like Boosie. Foles up like Boosie. Smoothie King. <laughs> and I am your motherfucking host, a.k.a. Big Dude, a.k.a. B-O-N. This is KP of the Certified Steppers Podcast. So we're going to see you on the other side. <laughs> yeah.